There are always advances happening to the Linux kernel, but unfortunately being on a long-term support release of Ubuntu, you don't necessarily get those updates. Yes, you get the security updates, but you don't get any new hardware or improvements to some of the existing hardware that it supports. But there is a way of uplifting the kernel through the Ubuntu repositories. So let me show you how to do that. Now firstly, I'm just going to open up the console, confirm the native version of the kernel that I have. So you name dash A, I have 3.16 because I have uplifted mine already. What you'll need to know is the code name of the latest Ubuntu system. So Ubuntu 15.04, Vivid Verve, so I am after a kernel called Vivid. Now I'm leaving you this page here because this video could be around for some time. But the next release is called Wiley. At the moment I'm after Vivid. Now I'm going to open up Synaptic Package Manager. If you don't already have it on your system, you can do, install it with sudo apt get install synaptic. Now I'm going to type in the release name of the latest Ubuntu, and that was Vivid. Now you see we have a list of Linux headers here and version of Xorg as well. So there's quite a long list that. Right, that's no good. We can't find what we want from that list. So I'm searching for Vivid Generic now. So what you want to install is the Linux Generic LTS, in this case Vivid. Later on, it'll be another version. So yes, I want to install all those things. So that brings in all the generic packages, which will bring in the latest kernel. Now there is an uplifted version of Xorg as well. However, when I try and install it, it's going to remove a load of programs. So I'm not going to install that. That's just ridiculous. So I'm just going for the uplifted kernel. So apply the changes. Yes, apply. Just wait for it to install and uh, then I'll reboot. Well, if your system boots up okay, and with you named dash A, you can see the latest kernel version number there, then great. You can go ahead and clean up all the unnecessary packages, because there will be quite a few now. If your system doesn't boot up, then hold down the shift key at boot up to make the grub menu appear. And what you'll be able to do there is you can choose an older kernel version. So you can roll back to an older kernel, and they can go ahead and undo the changes you've just made. So if I search for the older kernel I had, which was called Utopic, uh, Utopic Generic, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, so, you know, let's order by what is installed. Yep. So everything that says Linux Generic LTS Utopic, mark for complete removal. What? That's just stupid. No, I don't want that. Okay, let's try that's everything I want to remove that's weird so yes that's everything I want to remove there now to get rid of the older kernel versions so just type in the search for Linux and scroll down the list a little bit so you can see there are quite a few here, Linux headers, Linux image. So in fact there's three different versions. I've got the 31646, the 49, and the 31930. So I'm going to get rid of just the 46. So I'll leave two versions on the system. So everything that's got 46 in it, five items, yep. Yeah. Mark for complete removal. Okay, apply. So 280 meg will be freed. Excellent. So that's how to install the newer kernel in the long-term support releases of Ubuntu. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.